Well, hello there, guys. We are playing the Battle of Britain today, but from a very different perspective. We're actually playing as the Germans here um, in the Battle of Britain, trying to see if we can't, of course, um, actually get behind the British lines. We're going to try to drop some spies, but as you can see, the first group didn't do so well. Um, and see if we can't get over here to the British coastline quite quickly. Now, I'm assuming that this area is going to have some defenses on it, so I'm going to try and hit that armored bunker. But we should keep our eyes open. As you can see here, we're getting hit very, very quickly. I think we're going to have to go in with maybe a larger group of planes if we intend to knock anything out. Uh, first, we want to knock them out. Then, maybe, we want to actually send our spies in. As you can see, we've only got one spy plane left here. It's all up to the BF-109. Not successful the first time. What if we do five? So let's do five of these planes all at once. This has got to work. Here we go, guys. Bombers on the way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, they've already started the anti-aircraft fire. Can we get a few bombs at least? There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Did we actually hit anything? We did destroy a few buildings, but I'm not sure we destroyed anything in the realm of anti-air. And it's kind of hard to identify exactly where they are. So let's see, maybe now we can get the spy plane out. Let's try. I might just keep trying to hit the coastline over here. I know they're gonna have a number of planes here, and I think we have almost unlimited planes, 95 planes, 95 loads, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and send five this way too. And see, we're already getting hit by the enemy. We just cannot see where those uh, enemies are. Now, again, those sandbags suggest that there could be anti-air there, so I'm gonna send five of our planes here as well, just to take out this coastline completely. Feel bad for the British defenders here. They are about to take a hell of a pounding, but just about every single one of these pilots is also about to lose his life. And sure enough, look at that. I see the AA guys, my goodness. I definitely see it now. Now, hopefully we'll have better luck this time in our Battle of Berlin. Again, we're just trying to do as much damage to the British as we can. Oh, we got some more. Again, when we spot them, we're taking them out. I'll try to drop the bombs early because I know they're gonna be firing at us nonstop. Come on, boys. Get these Englanders. There we go, a few bombs dropped. Not too shabby. If we can just clear up all of this uh, AA here, we should be just fine, my friends. This is a true uh, terror campaign here. Sacred mena. Boom. Knocking them down just like a bunch of dominoes. Now, let's take a look here. We still have 64 planes and 64 loads. And, of course, the goal here, like I said, is to do as much damage as we can. It's exactly what we're going to go for. Pretty soon here, I think I'll feel safe to send out another scout plane. We've done a tremendous amount of damage to the Englanders. All right, once again, men. Wir sind unterwegs. We might just have to call this one, um, Battle of, uh, Britain Terror Campaign. I'm not sure where else these AA guns would be, but hopefully we can get a quick look. I'm not seeing anything. I see a few repair vehicles back here. But that's not really enough to determine if there are any AA guns. Uh, let's send one in a little bit closer here, guys. There's got to still be, you know, a few of them that we've left alive here and over here as well. I saw definitely like one or two. Maybe we could send in three planes to try and take care of that situation. We've certainly changed the look of the coastline. That's a start. Also, if you guys like this old school sudden strike action, please do let me know. These are, this is a very, very old game. Uh, by the way, I see right there we've got some enemies. And let's give them a full barrage. That's right, we're sending a lot of bombers, but I think it's worth it. I think it's the only way to ensure that um, we've wiped out all of the enemies here. There we go, Zetera! And we got one. One of them did manage to get away, but he's so far from the rest of our fleet that I think we might be okay. Of course, blowing up those woods is essential. I wish we could set them on fire here. A little bit of napalm would really do the trick here. 
All right, look at that. The terror campaign continues, guys. Now, if we could have seen any of the guns up there, we could have gone ahead and hit them, but we've got some houses here, and obviously this wouldn't be a proper Battle of um, Britain if we didn't try and cause some havoc to the civilian population. So we've still got 56 planes. I am going to go a bit crazy on this one. Wir sind unterwegs. Let's go ahead. Obviously, if we see any AA on the way, um, then we will try and target it. I'll even send a spy plane out, although I don't think he's going to last very long. It's sort of to keep the enemy AA focused on him instead of our bombers, hopefully. Whether that'll work is unlikely. Oh my goodness, we're already taking major hits here. Few of our men made it through, incredibly. Some of these bombers are making it through. Here we go, guys, dropping some bombs. And sure enough, this area has already been hit by our Luftwaffe. But we've got plenty of uh, enemy AA in the area here. Let's go try and knock a few of these guys out. We must be getting low on planes. 41 planes, 42 loads. Still quite a lot here. Almost, we're taking a fire almost immediately when we go in here. Uh, it's, it's certainly not easy. But I wonder why they just target two planes and then kind of let the rest of them coast by. Here we go, boys. Oh, no, maybe they won't let them coast by. Just one barrage would be enough. Oh, nice! The shrapnel absolutely got to them. Let's see, the objectives have got to be just destroy as many of these as possible. The Battle of Britain already is in full swing. More and more uh, German bombers. However, the British have developed a secret system called radar. With that system, um, they direct their Spitfires directly onto the streams of German bombers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But nobody really knows how the radar systems look like and where they are situated. So you have to bomb the coastline, trusting to hit the radar system anywhere. And it lets us know that for the most part, more than likely, that radar system will be on the coastline. So let's take a look. There's more areas over here that were very suspicious. Uh, also, a tremendous amount of um, sort of sandbags, etc. So let's send our spy plane out here. And again, I don't anticipate they're going to last very long. We'll try to send a second one out here. Get some eyes on the enemy men, and maybe knock out a few of these watchtowers. We'll just send in two planes for this job. Not seeing anything, unfortunately. But again, we don't know what they look like, and sure enough, there we go. That's what we want to spot. A nice group of enemies. Let's go ahead and get some payback for our glorious scout planes. We still have 34 planes, guys. 34 loads. God. It's going to have to be here. We'll drop some uh, bombs there as well. And yeah, we'll definitely need another run, I think, to get rid of every single one of these units. There's just way too many there. Send another group of five right here. We are heavily bombarding this area, and we still haven't found the potential radar site. But hopefully one of these bombs will, uh, will ring true. I mean, it could even be this thing, the blindage, we just don't know. A little bit of additional damage here for the enemy. And let's see if just two planes maybe can make it through over here just quickly. Alright, he's getting a nice view of the area. Although I don't see anything resembling what I would think to be radar. I see a lot of planes, destroyed planes. I see a anti-air vehicle. Let's see if we can't get an easy kill on this guy. I think we'd be pretty lucky if we did. And sure enough, I actually see an American rifleman running around here, but uh, not going any sort of building. Again, maybe we should hit these pillboxes and hope we get lucky, but I don't think that's going to work out. I absolutely adore Sudden Strike. I mean, for the time period, the graphics on this game were so, so good. Um, they're still, to me, really cool looking. But, of course, I think it definitely appeals to a certain audience. Now, that thing, man, I know it's just a standard bunker, 
but I can't help but feel that we should try and destroy it. It is on the coast. It could be something more important. And we can also send out... Oh, no, that's going to be it for our scout planes. So we've got, I believe, uh, 16 planes to send out, guys. Keep those fingers crossed. We've done everything we can. And if you have any other suggestions for the single missions in Sudden Strike Gold, let me know, and we can absolutely tackle those. Here we go. No luck there. See, now it's going to be kind of a guess. So we know that the buildings have been taken out. This area has not been, though. That could potentially be a radar station. So that's going to be our last attempt. It looks more like a factory to me, but who knows, guys. Also, our planes would have to survive the trip. There's also this over here. That building could be it. All right, let's go for the factory first. Again, that thing kind of looks like radar. And wish us luck, guys. This is the last of our planes. I think we've got 11 ready. Send four here. Pretty much anything resembling a building is going to be on our bombing run. Best of luck, men. This will be your most dangerous mission. At least initially there, we weren't taking nearly as much fire. So I think to complete this mission, we really just have to take one specific route, take out all the AA in that area, and see this area has already been bombed to hell. There's no way this can be the radar. But we will continue searching men. A few enemy trucks there that we might be able to take out. Well, guys, we have certainly bombed the UK into submission, but I don't see a single bit of radar. Our last chance is going to have to be that tiny little house right there, and then we are calling it quits. Uh, nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, drop a comment down below about what you thought uh, in this game and uh, whether you'd like to see it again. Like I said, it is a classic. You can actually get it on GOG. Um, for very very cheap i'm not sure i don't remember exactly how much i paid for it but it was like 10 bucks and uh, you can also get sudden strike 2 and a few others some people have said sudden strike 3 isn't even worth playing we do have a few videos of it on the channel so if you want to see those just type in a grip of Axenius, sudden strike 3 here we go last chance boys I mean, I just didn't see anything resembling a radar dish. That's all we did. So, go ahead. Quit. To menu. Thanks again for watching, guys. As you can see here, that's going to be the units destroyed. We actually managed to take out 93 enemy infantry, uh, 31 artillery, but we lost 82 planes. So there's no way that could possibly be a victory for us. Goring himself would have a shot. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.